Hey guys, it's me, Death by One of Us, back for another edition of One Life. This is number 96 on IGN's Top 100 Games of All Time. This is Dragon Warrior 3. Um, I know that this is a very popular uh, RPG series from uh, NX. They were NX at the time. I'm assuming that they that it's the same company that went on to become Square Enix later on that did all the Final Fantasy games and all the other games that they're known for. I only really know them for Final Fantasy. And did they do Kingdoms, Kingdom Hearts? Feel free to uh, let me know in the uh, comments if you, if, uh, you know know your uh, Square Enix history. Anyway, this is uh, Dragon Warrior. I know that I played the first one, and I think that's the only one I ever played as a kid, so let's uh, take a look at this one. Some pretty good animation here on the, uh, for the, the opening uh, title. Oh, he cut off one of his wings. Oh, man! For the NES, that's pretty brutal. Oh, uh-oh, oh, oh, they fell into the volcano. It's a pretty, pretty kick-ass opening for any an NES game. Um. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna get the, the main title, or are we gonna get more story? Dragon Warrior. All right, let's get into this. Oh, begin a new quest. Oh boy, it's an RPG game. Adventure log one, two, three. Name. D B D. Death by Blunderbuss. Male or female? Well, why the hell not? Message speed. Four is fine. <laughs> it was DBB's 16th birthday. Wow, this game's making me feel old. That was 13 years ago I turned 16. Crazy. Wake up, DBB, it's morning. Today is a very important day. This is the first time that you, DBD, DBB, shall go to the castle. Cool. I've raised you as a brave young lad for this... You know... Okay. Less talking. Less talking, more playing. Alright. So you're standard, you know, but old school style uh, RPG. It's got that old school feel to it. Walk around, talk to people. So I guess we're headed to the castle. Oh man, look at those graphics. NES at its finest. If you go straight, you'll come to the castle. Remember your manners in front of the king. All that's really annoying. I would kind of like to learn how to learn a little bit about this game. You know, in case I do a, uh, you know, a full Let's Play of it someday. Well, well that was easy. Welcome to the castle of Oliahan. Oliahan. Alright, so I got 15 hit points, 7 magic, and something H, 1 HR. Not sure what that, all that means. Well, let's go talk to the king. Welcome unto the DVB, son of the brave Ortega. It is said that thy father Ortega met his and when he fell into a volcano's crater at the... Oh, my dad was the guy from the the uh, opening credits. Cool. We do hereby accept your petition to fall in the footsteps of your brave father. My enemy shall be the Archfiend Bar Baramos. The name of the Archfiend Baramos is yet unknown in the world of men. Yet unknown? What? If things remain unchanged before long, the world will be destroyed by the Archfiend. Baramos must be defeated. See companions at the local eatery and start your quest. DBP receives money for his party. 
My birthday party? Oh, no. My party of, uh, travelers. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Alright, so I'm not going to spend time talking to every single character. Oops. I'm going to head to the tavern and waste that money on booze. I guess the tavern is back here. Maybe the inn. Good afternoon, welcome to the Wayfarer's Inn. One night stay is two pieces of gold wood ballast would wood dust have bed down for within. No, I gotta continue my quest. Alright, where the hell do I go? If you go north, you'll come to the village of Revive. Alright, so... Well, I probably should get a party first, but I, I want to see the, the combat system. Here we go. <laughs> Five slimes appear. I wonder if I can take them all on by myself. Slimy attacks, one damage. Slime A attacks, misses. Slime B attacks, one damage. Slime B attacks, one damage point. Okay, I defeated one. They're gonna kill me just because it's five against one. So, this has got like a, um, an earthbound feel to it as well. In that you don't actually see your characters on screen, like, um, in like Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger. Yeah, very, very primitive RPG game. Am I actually going to defeat these guys? I think I might. You know, it's funny, I was actually, you know, kind of craving a, uh, an RPG game to play. This, I might just actually do a Let's Play of this. This is kind of interesting, I'd like to learn more, but, uh, I'd probably start with, you know, the first Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Warrior game. Which I know I played in the, in the, back when I was a kid, because, uh, I, I remember, you know, loving the, uh, the box art for for really epic uh, box art with the guy fighting a dragon who's breathing breathing fire. Really cool stuff. All right, I better go back to the town and try and figure out where I'm supposed to go. Maybe in here. Maybe if I talk to my mom, she'll. Tell me where to go. Welcome back, DVD, my DVB, my dear. Oh, so I get to restore my life. Good morning, time to get up and go, DB, DBB. Yep. Well, I cured my all my uh, got my hit points back. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Because I... Because the king said to go and find a party. Let me talk to this guy. This shop deals with tools. Alright. Don't want that. Maybe... This guy? If you go out of town and walk for a long time by and by, you'll reach the edge of night. Okay, thanks for the advice there, buddy. Are you the son of the brave Ortega? Your father was a great man. Yeah, he sure was. I mean, he was no Indigo Montoya or anything, but he was pretty badass. I mean, he did take on a dragon and fall into an, a volcano. Alright, where am I supposed to go? I should have 
paid more attention to that king. Maybe this place? At your service, my good people. How may I serve you? Detoxicate? What? Uncurse? Revive? Interesting. Alright, where the hell am I supposed to go? Alright, screw it. I'm gonna go back to the castle and talk to the king. And of course, he won't probably say anything. And then I'll be totally lost, and this one life episode will have all been for naught. I'll just have to wander, wander the world forever alone. Alright, this guy better tell me where to go. Welcome our brave young hero of Alihan. Two one more experience points to go next. Shall I inscribe the results of your journey in Imperial Scrolls of Honor? Ah, cool. Cool save system. Yes. Okay. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go to find this party that this guy's talking about. Ah, great. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. I paid more attention. Alright, well, he gave me money, so... Where the... I have to go somewhere to actually hire a party? I don't get it. Maybe... Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna walk around alone. Oh. Oh boy, that, that does not look good. They're, they're sitting on skulls. That's pretty badass for the NES. And Nintendo. Sweet! I actually defeated him. Cool. And he only did one damage. I don't need a party. I can do this all by myself. Just have to remember to heal up. There, I uh, gains 14 experience points. You obtain five pieces of gold, and I leveled up. Pretty cool. Strength goes up one point, agility up one point, vitality up, luck, intelligence, and maximum HP goes up two points. Maximum MP goes up one point. All right, but does it reset my? Nope. That I have to do on my own. All right, I'm just gonna wander around until I die. More of these black ravens. So yeah, I am uh, generally intrigued by this uh, series. Like I had said before, I I had been uh, kind of craving to play an RPG game. Maybe I will. Uh... Only problem is, you know, I know Dragon Warrior, the first one, will show up somewhere on uh, I IGN's top 100 NES games of all time. So. Oh boy, I think this is where I probably am going to die. Ouch. Ouch. Oh no, this is not good. Oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna be able to withstand all these guys. Oh, no. I mean, I could run away, but I kind of want to end this episode. Yep, I'm dead. So long, folks. <laughs>